Hi folks, today I want to continue my do-it-yourself milling machine project here. As you can see, not a lot has happened here on the machine itself since the last video. I mounted the XY plate here to see if everything fits, put the machine back into the corner here where it will be placed in the future, and also mounted this aluminum extrusions to the back of the column to mount different stuff. But I wasn't lazy. I used every free time I uh, was able to afford to make some parts. Because as you can see, obviously a lot of parts are still missing. Ta-da! And here are all the parts I made since the last video. As you can see, it's quite a big pile of parts and it took quite some time because there are many individual parts we have to figure out how to fixture them, made the cam for every part and so on and so on. So yeah, every part took quite a while to finish it. And there are all different kinds of parts, like this one here is a mounting uh, connection for the way covers. Here in the back, this will go onto the spindle extension in combination with this and these two here in the front to hold the spindle servo. Um, this one here is a mounting bracket for the uh, thing Y axis linear scale. Um, here is the mounting adapter for the X axis linear scale uh, reading head. Here's a loose bearing for the Y axis. And yeah, all different kind here. Nut holder for the ball screws. And a fixed bearing side block without bearings. And here with bearings already installed. Um, another kind of fixed bearing seat. And yeah, here motor mounting for the x-axis for the uh, servo motor. And quite a big part in the back here that's the uh, uh, connecting plate between the z-axis guides and ball screws and the spindle extension. And I also finished the table for the machine, but it's too heavy to put it on here now. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of parts. And before we mount them onto the machine, I think I will show you some clips I made during manufacturing of the parts. And after that, we will see if everything fits.
or these parts here are for the ball screw, like the holder for the nut from the ball screw, the fixed bearings and the moving bearings or loose bearings. Um, these parts are for Z and Y and this is for X. I don't have the material for the uh, fixed bearing side for X now and it's basically just a block with some holes drilled in it and of course this is not the size for the bearing here. It's uh, way undersized and I didn't want it to mill the bearing seat here so I made uh, this circle here that I have something to indicate on and yeah of course I will do that with the lead here. I already mounted the four jaw uh, here and yeah it should be a pretty easy task here and let's hope I will hit the tolerances I want to hit. To get this part into roughly the correct position I can just put it in here. I already preset the jaws a little bit and then come in with the tailstock here and use my feature in the middle here to roughly center it and get the jaws pretty close to the right position. Then it's easier to indicate it in with the dial indicator afterwards. It already runs quite true. Um, this dial indicator has a resolution of 2 micrometers so it's basically not the right tool for the job but I don't have a, a one with a lower resolution. So the needle moves a lot here but that's only 0.6 millimeter of run out so let's dial that in. Okay, I think that's good enough. About, yeah, let's say it needle moves to two hundredths of a millimeter, and maybe the the hole is not completely round. Of course, because it's only milled on a do-it-yourself milling machine, that is not extremely precise. And a quick check if this face here runs true and that looks good under one hundredth of a millimeter that's fine Okay, let's start with the z-axis assembly and therefore uh, we have to assemble this uh, fixed bearing block for the z-axis. Um, using special bearings here, that's uh, 760205. They are specially made for ball screw application and they have a 60 degree contact angle so they can take a lot of axial force. And yeah, uh, this bore I made to 51.990 and this um, bearings are 52 millimeters in outer diameter. So theoretically it should work to warm this up to like 40 degrees Celsius and then this bearing should slide in easily. So let's start with that.
Oh, that worked perfectly fine. Uh, still hot to the touch, but uh, and they are still moving there. But when it is cooled down, they will be fixed, and there will be also a mounting bracket here to hold the outer ring of the bearings in place. Oh, that was a tough one to get the bearing on here, but pushing it on with the nut and some spacers worked quite okay. So, and that feels really nice now. I'm pretty sure that this will work perfectly fine. So now I need to assemble this section here. There will be a spacer, then the Oh, that's the wrong way, this way around, otherwise I can't reach the screws here. The uh, pulley with the taper lock, then another spacer, and then the nut. So now I have to align the ball screw here parallel to the z-axis and therefore I have made this block with two screws so I can rest it against the outside ground edge of the carriers and with that construction I can probe into the valley of the ball screw because that's the precise point, the outside may not be super precise. And yeah, let's try to get this done. The ball screw is mounted now and also aligned in both axes. I had to shim a little bit down here, but that's fine. And yeah, it feels pretty nice and it's rock solid. I measured the axial play of the bearings here and it's pretty much zero, so that's what I expected. Uh, the method here with this block, uh, I can put the indicator like that. I'm pretty sure it will work perfectly fine on the horizontal axis here, but on the vertical one it was hopeless. So I just uh, indicated the outside of the ball screw here and I think that will be also fine. So next step is to mount this one here.
the set axis is pretty much finished now. Uh, fun functionally, of course, there are some covers and s such stuff is missing still. And yeah, I think that's all for today's video. Next video will be about the XY plate down here. I hope you liked it. If that's the case, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated, please subscribe and see you next time.